Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the login system in our PHP e-commerce project. So let's get started. So previously we had made the registration system. So now we'll make the login. So just create a file over here called login.php. And here we'll just go to the register page and copy the whole thing and paste it in our login page. In the login page, we require only the email and password field. So I'll just remove all the unnecessary fields over here. So email, password, and remove this thing. Okay. And here we'll just change the form header. Say login form. And here the button will just change it to login. And instead of this register button, we'll change the name to login underscore button. Okay. We'll just check the output. So in our includes navbar, I have already added it over here. So if you have not added, you can just add it in your navbar. So we'll go to the browser and refresh. So click on login and here it is login.php and your login form. So now we will just enter our email and password and click on login and we will make this login system. So we'll go back to the code. Go to your login.php file. So I'll just explain you this code once. Whoever is new to this video, this is just to show the session message. And here we have our form tag and the method is post. Okay. So we have given the name to our input fields and then this button type equal to submit and just copy this button name. So once you are pressing this login button, it is going to this file. Okay. So inside functions folder. It is going inside authcode.php. So let's go to that file inside the functions folder authcode.php. So this is for the register button. So here we are going to check else if. And here in this if condition, we are going to check if is set dollar underscore post of your login button. So when the login button is clicked, this condition is going to become true. And here we are going to write our login code. So first we'll just fetch the values. So dollar email is equal to my SQLI real escape string function. And inside that pass the connection dollar underscore post of the email field name. So here it is. Copy that and paste. Just copy and paste the whole thing again and then fetch the password. Copy and paste. Now we are going to write our login code. So let me just zoom in and say dollar login query. Say select star from users where email is equal to within single quotes pass your variable name that is email and password is equal to within single quotes pass your password variable okay so just copy this variable name login query run is equal to my sqli query and pass your connection over here and your query so here we are going to write an if condition and we are going to check this copy and inside this if condition we are going to write my sqli num rows function so if my sqli num rows function of this login query is greater than zero then we are going to say logged in and else we are going to set the session message the session of message equal to invalid invalid credentials and then we are going to redirect the user back to the login page header within single quotes location colon login dot php dot slash okay so because it is outside this folder so it is outside this folder right login.php 
so that's why I'm putting this double dot slash make sure wherever you are using dollar underscore session you have started your session on top of the page so when the user details are correct and the user is logged in successfully then we are going to store some data in our session so I'll just create a session variable over here session of auth I'll just set it to true so this thing we are going to use it for the authentication and then we are going to store the username and the email in our session variable so I'll create another session variable over here session of auth user and this is going to be an array and in this we are going to have the name field and the value for this we are going to assign dollar username so this name we are going to fetch it from our login query okay so here i'm going to say user data is equal to my sqli fetch array and i will pass this login query run variable here okay so this will bring the data and put it inside this user data variable so now i want to put the username in this username variable so we'll just say username equal to copy this and paste of which field we require that name we have to specify here so user data of name so we'll just go to our database and inside the users table here we have this name field right so this name we are storing it in this username variable similarly we will store the user email put a comma over here and user email control x paste and this field is going to be email or you can take it from this variable as well we are done with setting the session variables now we will just add the message dollar underscore session of message is equal to say logged in successfully and then redirect back the user to the index page index.php so we have to show this message in our index.php right so we'll just include this code over there copy and go to your index.php and paste it over here so I'll just quickly put this in a container so now let us go and test our output so we'll go to the index page so there is nothing over here we'll go to the login page now and give our details which we have registered in our previous video and when I say login so it is logged in successfully and redirect to the index page but the message has not been displayed over here let us check why we have not started the session on top of this page so wherever you are using the session you have to start it on top of the page okay refresh and you can see logged in successfully so once you refresh the page again that thing is gone so now we are logged in so we should be able to see a logout button over here and this register and login page should not be visible because we are already logged in so let us make this thing now so go to your includes navbar.php and here where you have this register and login thing just write an if condition over here open php close php and say if is set function dollar underscore session of auth so if the auth is true then this condition will become true so once the user is logged in we have to show only the logout button right so I'll just control X and here just divide your PHP open close yeah and paste it over here So in this drop down we are going to add the logout button over here let's say logout and instead of this drop down link we are just going to show the logged in username say php so this equal to here means echo so you can just write your dollar underscore session of 
auth user of name okay and this logout button we are just going to create a logout.php file copy and logout.php so we will write the logout code over here and here for this else part else so if the user is not logged in he should be able to see this register and login buttons control x and paste it over here divide your php and paste so now let us test our output and refresh so you can see over here the login and register button is not visible and the username is visible over here and logout button so once i click logout it will go to the logout.php so here we will write the logout code and redirect the user back to the index page okay so go to the logout.php just open close php over here and here we are just going to check if the dollar underscore session of auth is true okay so we're just putting this into the is set function so here we'll just start the session on top of the page session start and here if the user is logged in we are just going to unset the session I unset dollar underscore session of auth copy and paste and change the auth user session also so make sure your spelling is correct over here so you can just copy it from the login page i mean the auth code dot php okay here it is auth user and auth so these two things just mentioned correctly so it has been unset and we are just going to redirect the user back to the index page say header location index dot php so here if the user is not logged in also if he tries to access this logout.php page he will be redirected back to the index.php so here once the user is logged out we will just set the message is equal to say logged out successfully save and now let us just test our code go oh, and refresh say logout and you can see logged out successfully so now when the user is logged out you can see you have got the register and login page so now if you try to access the logout page over here it will just redirect you to the index page here let me just log in and show you one thing so the user is logged in and the register button is hidden over here but still when you try to access it through the url you are able to view that page so the same case even with the login.php so when you open the login.php you are still able to see the login form even when you are already logged in so let us just write the code for this so once the user is logged in he should not be able to access this login or register page and here i'll just close this file go to your login.php over here after this write an if condition over here if a set of dollar underscore session of auth so if the user is logged in we will just redirect them to the index page say location colon index dot php and we will set a message over here dollar underscore session of message equal to you are already logged in the same thing even with the register.php copy this and paste it over here save and now you can just test it so the user is logged in right so when you refresh will be redirected to the index page and now when you try to go to your register.php 
it is redirected back to the index page so it is redirecting back but the message is not being displayed and here you can see this unset function right so it is getting unset or here itself before showing it in the index.php so here we have to give the exit function so that this page does not continue to execute after this line so just copy this and paste it in the login save and now just refresh and go to your login.php you can see you have got the message you are already logged in so we'll just check with the register.php okay we are getting the message and now when i just log out and then go to the register form you are able to see this okay so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the secure login system using session in our php project so thank you for watching this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.